Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Diva. This is video 15, and today we're talking about the amplifier and the pan. So let's go to the presets section over here, go to eight templates and select init MS Rev 1, and then bring our sustain up and then drop our cutoff down just a little bit. So we have something like this to work with. So our amplifier and pan section is located down over here, kind of in the middle, a little at the bottom here. So the first knob that we're gonna be greeted with is called volume. So let's see what that does. Okay, pretty self-explanatory, it controls the volume. However, you might be thinking, okay, we have this volume here, but we also have this output volume here, so what is the difference? So this output up here basically just controls, obviously, the output, the volume of our patch, but it doesn't change it in any specific way. However, this one down here, this volume in the amplifier pan section, the more you increase it, you can subtly overdrive the amplifier, giving you some nice interesting tones. So that's kind of the differentiation, like differentiation of these two different knobs here. So if you want some subtle effects, then reach for this knob. If you just want your patch to be louder or quieter and you don't want any changes, then reach for this output knob over here. So next up, we have this ENV1 on the VCA. So this is basically telling us that this first envelope is controlling our VCA. So when we increase our release, for example, or our attack, or really adjust any of these settings here in our first envelope, that's gonna control the VCA. So what we're hearing, right? Now we can change that if we select this here and go to gate, which is basically just on off. It's very similar if we had our envelope one selected, brought our attack down, our release down, decay and sustain all the way up. It's pretty much the same. There's small little subtleties between the two. Especially with the envelope, it seems like it cuts off a little bit quicker, but that's essentially what it's gonna be doing there. So moving on, we have the pan over here. So this is pretty simplistic. It just pans your sound to the left or to the right. So double click that to go back to the center. Now down over here, we have modulation here. So if we want to modulate our volume in any certain type of a way, this is going to be the section that we want to come to. So let's say for example, we want like a tremolo or something like that. So we know we can use LFO2 if we'd like to. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's select here, let's go to LFO2. So now LFO2 is going to be controlling this volume modulation. Now, as we turn this knob, take a listen. So now the characteristics of LFO2 is gonna be controlling this volume here. So if we wanna go faster, we can always change the rate or the sync depending on what we wanna do. Now this is a triangle shape, keep that in mind. So if we wanna do just a simple on off type of thing, we can always select a square high low or low high. Then we just have pulses of volume on off on off. So on so forth. So let's put this back to the center here so we don't have any effect anymore. Now the pan mod is basically the same concept, but it's just gonna be dealing with panning. So right here, we already have it selected on LFO2. So we have our settings set up this square high low at this, uh, this right here for our volume. But if you wanna do that for the panning, it's basically doing the same thing. And keep in mind, we can always select many different sources. If we want, for example, envelope two to change the volume here, we can select envelope two to have volume modulation or stuff like that. So that's the creative side of it. When, when you pick different types of shapes or different types of modulation sources and stuff like that, and then you adjust these different knobs and kind of come up with cool stuff. So that's basically how this amplifier pan section works here. It's not too bad. It's pretty simplistic, but uh, yeah, we got it covered anyway. So hopefully uh, you learned something. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.